I'm David Spergel. I'm a professor at Princeton University. And are you an astronomer? I'm, I'm an astronomer or an astrophysicist. I spent most of my career as a cosmologist thinking about questions like the age of the universe, how did the universe begin, or how did galaxies emerge. And in recent years, I've been more and more involved in thinking about extrasolar planets and how we detect them. I've been leading the NASA uh, study on building a new mission that would be carrying out a program both of cosmology and detecting extrasolar planets called WFIRST. So when I asked you the question, are we alone, you said probably not. Were you referring to l simple life or were you referring to technological life? Uh, both. 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 Um, now, with technological life, the, the other thing we uh, certainly ignorant of is, is technological life, uh, um, how dangerous is it to life uh, to be an advanced technology? We could have blown ourselves up with nuclear weapons. We haven't yet. Um, that may be luck. We have not yet destroyed the planet and made it uninhabitable. Uh, we, we are working on it. There are things we're doing to that are many things are doing that are degrading our environment. Um, will we destroy our, our planet for life? We won't destroy our planet, the Earth's gonna be here. But we may make life conditions um, so difficult that human life ends. Um, you know, and that, we're not there right now, obviously, but if we're asking do things last a long time, we don't know. So these intelligent aliens that you think are probably out there or might be out there, uh, are they going to be Democrats or Republicans? Neither. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that, uh, you know, well, to show my political prejudice, if they're going to survive, they pr they're probably not Republicans. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Are, they gonna, are they gonna be male and female? Um, very unlikely. Um, though, uh, let's get back to that. I, I, um, let me just say first, they're gonna be very different from us in many ways because um, the characteristic time scale to think about for astronomy is a billion years. If you look at a nearby star, the nearest star is a billion years older than the sun or a billion years younger. So if there's life on another planet, it is either a billion years less advanced than us, simple single cell life, or a billion years more advanced. Life a billion years more advanced, I, we have no idea what it will be like. When we think about how much our civilization has changed, say, in the last 500 years. What will humanity be like 500 years from now? It's a hard question to answer. Even harder is take 2,000 steps like that. Well, that's 2,000 steps of 500 years is only a million years. So then take that million year step, which is no one knows what humanity will be like, what our planet will be like a million years from now. Take a thousand more steps like that. And that's how much more advanced any alien is than us that we're likely to come into contact with. So they are very likely to be completely different from us. Coolest thing I've seen, which I identified, uh, was um, I've seen a, a meteorite come down. And you actually see the trail and you hear the explosion. Oh. That was over, yeah, that, that's an amazing, you know. If I didn't know uh, um, what it was, mm -hmm. I would think that was an amazing thing. So if you weren't an astronomer. If I weren't an astronomer and I saw this incredible trail across the sky, heard an explosion, uh -huh. um, and then of course you actually find a rock and a hole, which I didn't, but it was later. I mean, this was a, this is one of those ones that, you know, made the news and I just happened to be outside mm. um, when, I, when it happened. Um, that was, I mean, I identified that flying object. That was the most amazing <laughs> flying object uh, I've seen. Hollywood much rather have an alien that's kind of human-like and attractive. I think so the biggest misconception, that, that was where I was going. <laughs> I think the biggest misconception is you, that you can have sex with aliens. And that's not going to happen. It's not happen. happening. Because I mean. It's, they're not coming here. <laughs> aliens are not coming here for you to get laid. That, that, that's, <laughs> I want to clarify that. <laughs> and vice versa, you're, you shouldn't go looking for aliens if you're trying to get laid. No, yeah. You, you, but, you want but, an emotional relationship? But Spock had a father who's a Vulcan, a mother who's human, so, right? That's not happening. 